Okay, cool. Hey, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Tracy, and as you can see, I'm in my kitchen once more. And you know, when I'm in my kitchen, I'm about to throw all the way down. Today, I am going to make a very, very, very yummy, yummy dish. But before I tell you exactly what I'm making, let me remind you all what to do. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn notification buttons on. You hear it first. So, today I will be making the infamous cheesy potato. Listen, y'all know the potato, we go to the restaurant and we pay umpteen gazillion dollars for. So, I'm gonna be making it today in my kitchen and you know your girl always have a twist because she enjoys flavors. So in here I have my potato, it's already cooked and I have my little machine here. Listen, I don't know the fancy names for anything but I'm crushing away and I'm crushing away and it's hot, the potato is hot. You know you have to make it, keep it hot. So now this is my cheese, it's called cheese and potato. And like you know, like I explained, I love cheese. If you're making anything with cheese, you mean cheese. So I'm gonna have, um, I think I'm the opposite way. I'm left-handed, guys. So this is my cheese and with my, with my multiple different cheese. I have my butter in here. This is very easy to make. So I'm just gonna crush, of course, very easy to make. And I'm putting all the cheese in here. I'm going to crush them in together with the butter. Very easy to make. It's not hard. You just got, and then you have to choose the cheese that you like. You know. And we know the different brands. Whatever cheese you like. Um, my recommendation is just use at least three different cheese. At least three different cheese. And this is my twist. This is my cream cheese. So I'm gonna add my cream cheese in here and I'm going to town. I'm going to town. And I should have a baking pan, guys. But hey, I guess the numbers starting to affect the age. So I totally forget my baking pan. So I have to make do today. In just a moment, I need to get a little bit of milk. So I'm just going to pour a little milk on here to, a little bit, to loosen it up. Realize it a little bit hard to mash. I need to make a little bit smoother, add a little milk. This is cheesy potato, the one that we go to a fancy restaurant and you will pay for your five course meal, but then you're still hungry. And then when you ask for the cheesy potato, they bring you a little dab on a small plate and charge you gazillion dollars for it. But like I said, I would have a baking pan to sit it in. So I'm gonna utilize my little pudding pan here because I'm gonna have to bake it in here. So I'm just gonna pour it in here. This is how it looks. This is cheesy potato. I'm gonna just sit it, pour it out in here, sit it in the oven for at least 30 to 45 minutes. You realize it's smooth. And when it's almost done, I'm gonna add a little cheese to the top. And you guys will see these are just small simple recipes that we like to go out and we 
enjoy eating and purchasing, but you can also bring it home. Sometimes, especially now, I know everybody's affected by this COV, this COVID-19 thing, and everybody is short in cash. I don't know about you, but I'm very, at this moment, I'm running very low, but I like to have a different flavor, and sometimes, you know, this is Sunday, y'all. Island people love rice and peas, are Jamaican, and today I decided I need to go to the restaurant, but I can't afford to go there. So I'm bringing the restaurant home. So there you have it, my cheesy potato ready to go for the oven.